going on everybody well we were going to run out 35 miles with the kids here but uh wind finder said it was going to be like one foot seas but it's getting pretty nasty out here so we're going to start shallow because it's supposed to get a little bit snottier later so caught a couple little live baits we're on an unknown spot here looks like there's a ledge or something we're gonna rig up see if we can't catch some snapper or something but i'm gonna drop that live bait down on a heavier setup and see if there's anything big on the bottom 59 feet of water so it's uh pretty choppy they're saying eight nine mile an hour winds it's more like 15 or more seems like it's getting worse as we go so we need to find something for dinner though yeah look at look at the screen just came alive that's oh, no. i'll bet this bait already got eight. Oh boy Same here's bait i'll check it the other side it might you might still have them there yeah this bait got chomped already he's dead <laughs> So they're using shrimp over here, as I and Brandon. I don't know, this thing hammered that live bait, but... It's a grouper, I think. Is gag a little grouper! Gag? A little, Let's go! Little baby gag. Grab nice. Can't see that. Yeah. Nice. They love those things, man. That's awesome. Still Beautiful love fish. to see them. We've been go. seeing a lot of them in shallow, big boys too. Oh, so yeah. maybe we could, be, get, who knows, maybe you could catch your PB. I, know, I caught a pretty big one. Remember that big hook we were using? That yeah, one? we were Goliath fishing. Yeah, in the caught a giant. You can drop him in. He's not even bloated. Later, dude. Go get your dad. Woo! So these are, grab me a horn belly in the net. I want to show everybody here. So these are horn bellies. Now, they like to talk, they're very talkative. Big flashy baits. I've had a lot of fishermen say that they don't like to use them. They said that fish don't eat them, but I beg to differ. So if you look on their bellies, they have those little spines there. When those spines get you, it burns. Nothing like a lionfish sting or anything like that. Not that I would know anything about that, but um, they do burn. They give you a, like a burning sensation through your wrist and your hand and very uncomfortable, but great bait. Look at how flashy that thing is. I'm trying to get out of there. It's not going so hard. I know, but. Brandon's trying to teach Zai. Show him what you're trying to use there, Zai. Bait caster. <laughs> and you guys all know those can be a little tricky. <laughs> you're doing fine. <laughs> My daughter's up there sleeping in the sun, so otherwise she could be running another rod. Zai, that's a monster fire truck. <laughs> so big. Wow. <laughs> Just think, in like 10 more years, he'll be a keeper. You can bring your kids out here and catch them. Nope, she's on. Go on. She's on. It's fine. Maybe you got stuck underneath that ledge. Ah! <laughs> Looks like we're gonna have grunts and grits. Don't have the keep, keep at least a couple of them, you know, in case yeah. we get skunked. For sure. I don't think we will. Oh, you don't ever set the pole down! No. <gasps> you are lucky, dude, or you would have been calling Mags himself and said, I gotta buy my dad a new pole <laughs> and a new reel. That's a good one. Be a red grouper, baby. Be a mango. Ellie, come and grab this. Oh, look, sunshine woke up. Here he is, here he is. Where, where, you like the color is, is it a red grouper or gag? Nice! Let's go! Good job, buddy. I got somebody else's line, though. It's all right. He's a keeper. Uh, Pound it. 
Out. All right. Hang out, buddy. Let's get a tape on them to be sure. All right. So that grouper was almost 21 inches. We're going to keep him because we want something for dinner. Oh, Ellie's making me a salad. Thanks, honey. No? For all you guys that have never seen a lizard fish before, snake fish, lizard fish, they got a few different names. But this tells me we need to move. Alright guys, bring him up. Let's go find another spot. By a Goliath. Did you get it out of his mouth? I think you know it definitely go. was a big fish. Oh yeah, for it sure. It definitely was a big fish there. Trust me, but I think you got half of them now. <laughs> well, I'm marking him on the bottom. You can see fish. he's he's down there chewing her. Oh no. <laughs> Something grabbed Something him though. Something grabbed him for sure. Is he chewed up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little scuffed up. Goliath, probably. Yeah. Drop one of those big squirrel oh, fish down. All right. See if big boy wants to play. All right, get this pole out the way, buddy. I got yeah, it yeah. coming. Figures I got them on the lighter mags. Yeah. That's a big one. Oh, freaking good fish. Dude, he's coming up. It's just, I got a mono. Like a, oh, the cow. weight is tied in line with it, so I've got two knots on each side of the. Wait, not on the hook and then a double uni to my 100 pound braid. You got five knots going? That's gotta be a Goliath. He yeah. Holy crap. That's a big fish. That's a, easily over 200 pounds right there. Oh! Just popped. Look at nope, broke the hook. Oh, that's wow. Come on, keep Wait. keep constant pressure on him. Don't let any slack in your line. You got this. You got this. Dude. You got this. Let him run. Let him run. Real, 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 real. All right, up. Don't reel. Let, oh, that's a nice fish. Babe. That's a nice fish. I got you, I got you. Little AJ. Is it an, oh, that's her first AJ. <laughs> Let's go. Here, swing him this way, kid. <laughs> that's an awful light rod to be catching an AJ on. <laughs> nice, babe. First one, kiddo. You wanna get a picture of him? Yeah. Go ahead and reel, buddy, he's there. He got eight on the way down. Reel, 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 fast, fast, fast. Cause he ate it on the way down. Might be an AJ then. I don't know. I'm just pure guesses right now. That's weird. I don't know what that is. Here he comes. Here he comes. Nice and easy, brother. Nice oh. and easy. I have no idea. He's shiny though. Who says those butterfish don't catch fish, huh? Right. Is it an AJ? I think so. But I'm not sure yet. I haven't seen him yet. 
AJ, shucks. A little smaller than size. What you got, B? Tail? Really? Yeah, no, it's a. Oh, Lane. No, lane. no it's a little mutton. Mutton? He's caught a what? mutton. He's short, but. Nice. There we go. That's that's your first mutton that's on this side. One. Yeah, exactly. Look at how pretty that sucker is, man. Beautiful fish. Alright. We'll get bigger. So it started getting pretty rough out there, so we moved in where few miles offshore and uh, we're trying to check in some spots here that have driven over and always seen a pretty good show um, I'm hoping that maybe we can with some shrimp maybe we can catch a sheep's head or something along those lines we don't usually fish this close but we've had a real bad red tide it's killed off a lot a lot so I don't want to go in too far, but we're definitely marking some fish on the bottom. She just, Zai just lost a good one. So who knows, man? Maybe it's a sheeper. It is! Oh, it's, oh, it's a, a fish. they're in, they're in. Yes! I got a, they just came yeah, in. DJ. It's gotta be 15 overall. Oh, is he just short? Come on. He's like right there. Shows I the trigger. Pull the. Oh yeah. <laughs> they got sandpaper. So nope. Just push it up, all the way up, and let it lock. Now try to push it down. Push it. No, nope. try to push that down, Zai. Push this down. Now watch. Pull the trigger, Brandon. Right. Pull that trigger right there. It goes right down. <laughs> See, you can't. You can't get that. Now pull the trigger. Pull that. <laughs> Pretty what cool, the isn't heck? it? That's Feel his cool. skin rub back from the tail towards the head. Oh. oh. Isn't that wild? That's super rough. Yeah. Oh, it's a sheep head. Is it? Yes, it's a sheep head. Sheep head. Oh, keeper. he's a keeper too. Yes. Good job, Zai. <laughs> That's what we were kind of hoping for here, guys. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Might need the pliers. She's going to lock down on that thing. Let's see, it's right on the skin there. There we go. Teeth. <laughs> Good job. All right. Yeah. I think I know what I want to make. Funny. These guys have never had our uh, turning fish into lobster. That's what. Ceviche? ceviche. Okay. I ceviche. Want ceviche. She's never had it. All right. Well, she's never had my lobster okay, recipe fine, fine. either. That's fair. I've never had it either. So. <laughs> oh, it's a bigger porgy. I mean, oh. a bigger trigger fish. Heck yeah, man. Heck yeah. Okay, well, maybe we will have ceviche and lobster. Let's go. <laughs> Measure him real quick. All right, I'll get you another. Dude, how cool is that? Just a few miles offshore, 40 feet of water. No red tide out here, baby. Short. We had to let the last one go, too. Gosh, they are so cool. Beautiful fish. Happen. All right, buddy. Later, dude. Go. Oh, come on. Cast right on top of him. Tap him, and he'll swim away. There he goes. <laughs> Good job, Al. We're going to need to lift it in. Try to bring it up here, Al. His eyes on, too. Oh, yeah. yeah Double up. Boy, that's a good one, oh, too. Nice oh, don't break the line! That's a keeper. Oh, this one's fighting. Oh, that one's fighting her. <laughs> She's got it on that ultralight rod, too. Oh, another trigger! All right, we got to measure him. That one uh, is definitely 15. Go ahead and open your bail, honey. That one's going to be close. This one's good. Watch your feet, buddy. I don't want you to get bit. 16 and a half. Gosh, they're everywhere. Yeah, they are. Go clean some fish. The kids want ceviche. You guys have never had ceviche, you gotta try it. It's amazing. Brandon went and filleted all those fish. Ceviche is so simple. You've got your, you know, 
I'm a member of the Purple Onion Club. Evidently, they're called Red Onions. Purple Onion, Cucumber, Tomatoes, Avocado, lots of limes. Now, one of the best key ingredients is cilantro, and it's so quick and easy. Quarter our tomatoes like that. Like that. So it's all cut up pretty large. You kind of want to just make everything the same size, at least that's the way I like to do it. So we're going to cube this fish up. I'm just going to cut it in strips, like so. There you go. Trigger fish is, is amazing. You probably can't see it, maybe you can, but there's like iridescence going through the whole thing. Now obviously, the smaller you cube it up, the faster it will cook. Yeah, some people say quarter inch, I'm not afraid of a half inch piece. There we go. Perfect. About to cut up the limes. Oh, come here. Let's see. Let's see. He said, don't judge. It was the only one left and it's not in the greatest of shape. But no. It smells like cilantro. <laughs> I taste it too. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. It's perfect. That That's looks exact... so good. Oh, I know, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. All right. So I'm going to have to have you do some squeezing. Oh, you're going to eat it straight up raw, huh? Might as well. Here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna quarter up, or maybe half. Can we half them? Yeah. I think we could probably half them. So if you put it yeah. that side down, but what we wanna do is we wanna put enough lime juice yeah, in here to cook it. so that it covers the whole thing. Nice. So you're gonna be here a minute. All right? Sounds good. See you in about a half hour. Sounds good. Oh yeah, I forgot one important ingredient. We're gonna take the seeds out of these, scoop them out, just like that. Nice. We'll probably cut the uh, jalapenos a little bit smaller. If you wanna keep it hot, really hot, then don't take the seeds out, you know? We're gonna add a little bit of pepper, a little bit of sea salt to taste. turning white already. Yep, doesn't take long. Once we get it all together, then we'll throw a little salt and pepper on it, stir it up, throw it in the fridge, but we still gotta do the cilantro. Look at this. <laughs> oh. Haven't gotten good. sun in a while. Look at how red you are. No, don't you dare, not again. I did it <laughs> off camera earlier. <laughs> I did, I, you guys know me, I would never do that. Steve will I would do never it. do that, Steve no I wouldn't. will do it. You're my guy, man. You're my guy. <laughs> Come here, Zai. Yeah. Did you get any sun? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. This look like a couple of lobsters. <laughs> I got an idea. Why don't you, like, actually you walk out of the house yeah. once in a while? <laughs> this is what happens when you guys have indoor jobs. Yeah. <laughs> We're also going to add avocado, but you don't want to do that. Mushy. Yeah, this do that before you serve it because it'll get all soft and yucky. We're close, man. We're all out of limes. Yeah, we're all out. Let me see those. Pull some of them out of there. Let me see. Seriously, dude? <laughs> They're ne squeezed, I promise. Well, man, I think next time you should have Zai squeeze them. She'd probably get more juice because we don't have enough. Hey, you go back to the store, Mr. Sunburn. Uh, I'm just kidding. I love you, man. I'm just playing. It'll be fine. What? 
guy. Oh, that's my bad. That's my bad. Oh, does that smell so good? It so hurts. let's cut up. All right, let's cut up some of the cilantro. And now we're gonna do salt and pepper. Lots of pepper. Oh my word! It smells so, so good. good. So check it out. We got some uh, new used cabinets. So we've got a lot of hurricane damage. We got water came through all our vents, came through the microwave, the vent that goes out there. The goal is I want to add a whole nother set of cabinets on this side, have a gas stove because I've been cooking on gas for 30 years before I moved down here. So we're going to have, hopefully have a hood, a suck fan, gas stove, another sink. So we're going to expand our cooking area. So we'll have more than like 10 square feet to work. We're going to add a little avocado oil. And we'll stir that in. In the refrigerator it goes. About 15 minutes from now, we're going to add that right into the ceviche. I know a lot of you guys are on board with prayer and stuff, but uh, Jamie's dad, we found out, um, had a tumor or something growing on his leg bone, his femur, and uh, his leg actually broke, and that's how they discovered it. And uh, they've found a few more spots not on the skeleton but on some soft tissue stuff so scary times uh, for Jamie and obviously for everyone involved but uh, we just ask that you guys would pray for him that would uh, that would mean everything to us and uh, we know prayer works my brother Brian my brother Chris my father my mother they've all uh, lived with cancer for a very long time uh, some have survived cancer and some are still dealing with it but uh, we don't know 100 percent that it is cancer so we'll just wait and see and we'll update you guys but please pray for him his name is terry wonderful man he's done a lot for us uh, just a great dad great grandpa so Anyways, thank you. Let me just touch it. Look. Yeah, it turns white. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Zai. Zai. That's, a good one. That's mean. Yeah, what the heck? You should never, <laughs> ever do that. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, snap. See how it's all turned white? Okay, now we're just gonna pour it into a strainer. I don't always do this, typically I don't. But just kind of shake out all that excess lime juice. Good enough. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh -huh. Load that thing up. Mm. Oh my gosh. Is it not amazing? Double dipping. <laughs> yeah, it does. It's okay. It's family here. Mm. Whoops. That's delicious. Super good. Isn't it awesome? Oh my God. We've probably done 20 ceviche videos. Mm -hmm. Like Sorry. like I always say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Because good is good. Well, my work here is done. 
The kid wanted ceviche, he got ceviche. <laughs> Very good. Very good. And that will probably not make it the rest of the night? No, definitely won't. But I'm gonna go take a shower and go to bed because I gotta work in the morning. So anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Appreciate you guys watching and uh, God bless. And I guess we're gonna see you in the next one because we are out of here. I think they're longing for a little bit of a, the old uh, fist pump thing. Oh, oh yeah? Because we're out of here. <laughs>